Hello everybody, Soda Hunter here again. I'm in Hope Hole, Alabama, and I've got so much free time on my hands right now because this run isn't taking uh, that long to do, but I can only do it in a certain time, so I'm sitting at truck stops waiting for the most part with this run until uh, Wednesday morning when I make it to South Carolina. Uh, right now, as I'm doing this, it's Monday night. Um, so I figured I'd try something completely different for me. This is called Bundaberg, or I might be saying it wrong, Bundaberg, non-alcoholic beverage, ginger beer. And it is right here. It's the weirdest bottle I have. It's even got, it's got a pull tab on the top of it, instead of a typical twist off or anything like that. And, um... It is brewed. I can tell because when I hold up to the light, I can see uh, pieces floating around in it. I'll read you the bottle. It all, it's always cloudy, and a bottle of good old-fashioned ginger beer. Hold the bottle to the light, and you'll see it's full of real ginger pieces, traditionally brewed to a genuine old recipe to release the natural flavors of ginger. Contains carbonated water, cane sugar, ginger root, Yeast, preservatives, yeah. This is real stuff. It, this isn't your typical bottled ginger ale. This is a brewed ginger beer. And um, we will see it's Australian too. You got a nice little uh, kangaroo right there on the bottom of it. <laughs> so uh, this is interesting. It also says at the top, upend bottle. No, you can read that or not. Upend bottle before opening. So we're gonna do that. Don't shake it, Lord, it's carbonated. So let's see. And that pulled right off. That was neat. That is strong smelling. My goodness. Okay, so we're gonna try this here. There, that fizzed up. It's a little, uh, it's a light amber. It looks a lot like regular ginger ale does, except it is cloudy. Hey, I don't know if you can see or not. Yeah, you can see. It is cloudy. It is uh, full of pulp. It is that. That is um, very interesting. So, I really have no idea what to expect from this. Very strong smelling and real sweet. It smells like ginger ale, just a lot stronger. So, um, I've never had a ginger beer. I've never had a birch beer or anything like that. So, let's see. Ooh, that's sweet. Man. Man, that is sweet. Okay. So, picture ginger ale, but extremely sweet. Wow. It, it tastes so much different than anything that you would get uh, like a Canada Dry or something like that. Um, man, that tastes different. You, you, I can't put my finger on it too much. Uh, I guess it's because it's brewed. It's got so much flavor. Um, you really have to like ginger ale like this. <laughs> It doesn't burn, which I'm surprised by. A lot of real ginger sodas will burn. Um, this leaves no burn in the back of your throat. Well, I say that there might be a light burn now that I've gotten three sips in. There might be a light burn, but I've had worse, a lot worse. Um, in fact, if I hadn't told you that would burn and you tried this, you probably wouldn't even notice. Um, you probably just think that was part of the ginger ale, part of the carbonation or something. It leaves a slight ginger aftertaste, not bad, but it pretty much, it's, it, you get the flavor and then it's gone. It doesn't overstay its welcome. That is really good. It really is, but it is sweet. It is extremely sweet. All right, I'm going to try it from the bottle itself here. I have a feeling that it's going to get sweeter and more flavorful as I hit the bottom of the 
the bottle. Considering I upended it, but it's all gonna, the sediment is all gonna fall back down to the bottom of the bottle. So I have a feeling that the longer I drink that, the better it's gonna be. <laughs> but that is really good. If you see any of that Bundaberg, Bundaberg ginger beer, if you see any of that, I got this at Fresh Market. It was a little pricey for a soda, it was $1.99. Uh, most of the time, if you get a glass bottle cane sugar soda from a place like Fresh Market or World Market, they're about $1.50. So you're looking at about 50 cents more. Um, but, man, you can't I, you can't compare a real brewed ginger beer to a ginger ale. There's no comparison. This is so much sweeter. It tastes real because it is real. And you can see that just by how cloudy this actually is. And I recommend it. I definitely recommend it. If you uh, you gotta like ginger ale though. If you don't like ginger, you're not gonna like this <laughs> because it takes a ginger ale and and puts it into overdrive and puts it way up here. So if you don't like this level of ginger ale, you're not gonna like this level of ginger beer. And that's I I promise you won't like it if you don't like that. But if you like ginger ale, that is awesome. I highly recommend it. And um, if you like this video, follow me on Twitter at soda underscore hunter, facebook.com slash soda hunter Kevin. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I got plenty more on the way. So thank you for watching. See you next time.